Hello everyone, today I'm going to be talking about one of the most mind-boggling crimes in Singapore, the McDonald's boys case. Kei Chin An and To Tong Huat, two 12-year-old boys, went missing on the 14th of May 1986. This case actually received a widespread media coverage, as major crimes in Singapore were extremely rare back then. This case was dubbed the McDonald's case because McDonald's had actually offered $100,000 for any information about the boys. In the afternoon of 14 May 1986, at 12.30pm that day, Kei Chin An arrived at Owen Primary School. Chin An saw his classmate, Wang Pi Wei, and told him to take care of his belongings while he left to visit some shops. This wasn't unusual as it wasn't the first time Chin An actually asked Pi Wei to look after his belongings. However, that was the last time Chin An was seen. Hong Huat actually lived 5 minutes away from school and requested to go to school on his own that same day and said he was meeting a friend, presumably Chin An, nobody knows. His mother found it weird as this was unlike her son who was a timid boy and would usually be more comfortable with his mother in public. Both Chin An and Hong Huat failed to show up to their 12.55pm class that day. This is where the timeline gets blurry as their books and bags were actually found under a tree but no one knew where they had gone. Police were contacted that evening and searched their estates surrounding the boys' school for days following their disappearance. There were reportedly thousands of missing posters distributed island-wide asking for anyone who had information on the whereabouts of the missing boys. Interviews with their parents pleading for help was also showed on national television. On the 27th of August 1986, there was a reported sighting of the missing boys on Pula Wubin an island northeast of mainland Singapore, easily accessible by boat. Almost 100 police officers were dispatched. However, they turned out nothing. The night of 3rd September 1986, Chin An's father received a nasty phone call. The caller said, Stop wasting your time and the police time. Your son and his friend are dead. I killed them as part of a ritual. The phone call was so distressing that it triggered a stroke in the father and he was admitted to that hospital on the same day. Hong Huat's mother also received a similar phone call on the same night. The man spoke in Hokkien and said that she should not hope for her son's return. So here are the theories. The first theory is that the boys actually ran away from home. However, they led a normal home life and the parents claimed that they would never run away from home. According to their teachers, the boys were also very well behaved and never missed any classes. Not only that, if they wanted to run away, China wouldn't have gave his bag to his friend in the first place and would have took his piggy bank money, which was still full at the time he went missing. Second theory is that Hong Huat's father had adopted the boys due to his failed marriage with Hong Huat's mother and brought them to Johor Bahru, Malaysia. After the couple divorced, due to their failed business, Hong Huat's father would regularly take Hong Huat out of class as Hong Huat's mother did not allow him to see his son. It became so destructive that the teacher actually complained to Hong Huat's mother. Hong Huat's mother decided to change Hong Huat's school without telling his father. Not only that, the court had also ordered Hong Huat's father to pay a huge sum of alimony to Hong Huat's mother. Four days before Hong Huat went missing, Hong Huat's mother could not find Hong Huat at school. But later it was discovered that Hong Huat's father actually brought Hong Huat out as he found out where his son was studying at. Another critical key to this case was that Hong Huat's mother, Tang Gyok Kwan, isn't Hong Huat's biological mother. Hong Huat's father actually had an affair with this woman who later gave away Hong Huat to Gyok Kwan. Hong Huat never knew he was adopted. A week before Hong Huat went missing, Hong Huat's father allegedly confronted Hong Huat's birth mother, wanting her to claim Hong Huat back. But she refused. He then threatened her to never tell anyone that she is his birth mother. Hong Huat's father was actually investigated as a suspect but was later released due to insufficient evidence. Chin An was believed to be implicated as he idolized Hong Huat like an elder brother and would follow him around constantly. Later, the two boys were believed to be spotted in Jamie, Malaysia. Okay, this is the weird part. In 2004, there was actually a show about these two missing boys and the production team actually went to this village to ask about the two boys but the village head actually turned nasty and chased the team away so it looked as if they were hiding something you know third theory was probably the most disturbing but like the most widely accepted and that the boys were victims of human trafficking some people have claimed to see the boys on the streets of bangkok thailand their limbs chopped off and they were begging in the street that's what people have claimed to see this will actually be in line with the operation of illegal human trafficking at that time and will mean that the boys could have been kidnapped and forced to beg. Singapore police also took their search to Malaysia, Thailand and Indonesia but to no avail. The fourth theory. Oh my god, this is so creepy. 
When I read this, I'm like, what the hell? This is more of a rumor. They said that the boys were used as child sacrifices. Around that time, there was this MRT line being built. So they said that there's this Dishan portion that kept stalling. A Taoist priest said that it was because child sacrifices were required in order for construction to succeed since they had dug up the cemetery. Can you just imagine taking two boys just because like the MRT line kept stalling? They were sacrificed for development? Uh, I'm, I'm not sure. So what do you think? Do you think the boys ran off or was it human trafficking? I would say that the theory of Hongwat's father bringing his son away makes the most sense actually. Let me know in the comments below and see you in the next one. Ah! <gasps>